Hi everyone. Uh, today we will learn the anti-aliasing and the the multi-sampling anti-aliasing techniques that we can use in WebGL programming. Okay. To to understand anti-aliasing, anti surely we need to understand the aliasing first. Okay. This is a short video about uh, showing the aliasing. The URL is in in a uh, bottom line, then you can test it if you, the, the, the video quality is poor. The board is rotated with the clockwise, but we can see that something in inside of the board, there is uh, something rotating in different uh, speed or different direction. So we can call it the aliasing. Actually, you can see that uh, that phenomenon in in we are driving in road. So when here looks like that kind of so, so rotating slowly back backward. So it's quite natural and quite frequently you can see in 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 the nature. Okay. So. So what is the, the source of uh, uh, region of uh, aliasing occurred? It is because the sampling rate is not enough to, to, to represent the high frequency signal. For example, there is a, some kind of a, some sine wave. So if we sampling with very high frequency, then we can get, get some wave shape. But it is not exactly the same, but we can we can express this wave, okay? Because yeah, sampling rate is enough to represent this this hyper, this sine wave. But if we if we change the sampling rate with very low, then sampling in here, sampling in here, sampling in here, sampling in here, sampling in here. Then we can get this result. It's much lower frequency. Okay, so original data was very high frequency, but we can only we can get very. It looks like very low frequency. In case of a very high frequency and regular pattern will be changed in into very low frequency, something strange looking signal. So, how can, in case of uh, graphics, the, the aliasing is like this. So, for example, if we draw line even horizontally and vertically, it does not matter. It does not make any trouble. But, but in case of a slanted line like this, then if we change it into, we draw the, the white line in background then this this kind of thing is happened for example if we define the, the rectangle like this but because of numerical error so we need to change it on we need to decide on the pixel or open the pixel then this kind of a, some kind of a ladder will be appeared sometimes we call it a ladder effect so and then the, the rendering quality is became very poor, so we can see the this this some steps, some artifacts in this picture. So then we can change it into this quality. This so it is main idea is we can in case of a, in case of a aliasing occurred, then we can zoom it. Then if we we can make some kind of a boundary with with the pixel of color with not gray, not white. The middle color we will use it by the by by following the the, the coverage of each pixel. Okay, I will explain it later. So the 
the how can the, the basic idea of anti-alienation is the increase sampling rate. The, the fundamentally, if if we increase sampling rate enough enough, then the aliasation effect is disappeared. But the problem is. If we increase sampling rate and data quantity of data and processing time is required, much more huge t computation is required to processing anti aliasation. So sometimes, sometimes it is not possible. It is not feasible in modern, even though in modern GPU. So we need to choose something, some feasible way. To implement this anti-aliasation, so there are two kind of uh, we, we can divide into two category of uh, the anti-aliasing technique. So one is a spatial spatial means that related to space, and then temporal means uh, related to time. So sometimes we we in previous example the rotating field that is the uh, that is occurred by sampling rate of video in time. So it is kind of a temporal aliasing. Sometimes like this, it is it is it, it this this picture is not moving picture, so it's not changing by time. But the, but there is a, some kind of aliasing in the edge of Drawing. So in that case, we call it a spatial aliasing. Then, so there is two kind of anti-aliasing techniques: spatial anti-aliasing techniques, and another thing is temporal anti-aliasing technique. So of course, there is some kind of a trans trade-off between quality and efficiency. So, so if if uh, some Something the the serious problem in computer graphics is if we we make better quality, so then the result will, will be low performance, and then it it makes some low refresh rate. For example, if we, if we turn off the anti-aliasing, then we can achieve a six pre, six hertz. Six frame per second to drawing something, drawing some animation or something. So, if we turn on the anti-aliasing, then we can if we can get only twenty four frame per second, then it it can make temporal aliasing. So if we can if we reduce some kind of a spatial aliasing, but then the result is the temporal aliasing is increased. So that kind of trade-off is exist in anti-aliasing techniques. Okay. So we need to choose most efficient and most effective way of uh, anti-aliasing. Okay. So. So. And also, the, if we turn on anti-aliasing, then the, the more resources needed. For, for example, frame buffer memory is is much more big. Frame buffer memory is required to implement the anti-aliasing. Okay. So, the basic idea of anti-aliasing is calculating of the coverage. The coverage. There is a screen. They are. Uh, they have six pixels. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then, then, the, I'm trying to drawing so yellow triangle. Then, the aliasing occurs when I, for example, uh, in 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 normally we, no no anti-aliasing, no anti-aliasing technique is used then we assume that the all energy all energy of pixel it is concentrated on the center center okay so so we will check 
the center point is inside of triangle or not inside of triangle. So it will be, it is not, okay? Yes, not, not, yes, not. So, so this pixel will, will, will uh, draw, turn on for yellow triangle. This triangle, this triangle is turn on. So result, result image will be like this. It is very far from our triangle shape, but yes, it is because it is approximation and so we assume that so all energy is concentrated on this pixel. So the computer graphics anti-aliasing algorithm is based on area, okay, area. So if we can calculate the area portion, area portion of this triangle, maybe it, it can be 10%, okay, then it will be 80%, okay, so it will be, it will be 10%, okay, it is 40%, oh, it is 100%, and it is about, yes, 40%. Then we can turn on 10% of yellow color and background 90%, we can mix it with coverage, okay? If coverage is 10%, then the, we will use yellow 10% and background 90%. It is very similar to branding, okay? It is very similar to branding. Then you can get anti-aliasing effect like this, okay? You can get anti-aliasing effect like this. But think about it. It is not easy to calculate, even though in WebGL there is only three primitives, point, line, and triangle. Even though only to, in case of triangle, it is not easy to calculate it, these things. For example, if triangle is located like this, then we should calculate the area of this coverage, it is not, of course we can do that, but it is not easy. So, so it is not feasible in calculating the area, area is not feasible in modern GPU. So, in modern GPU, they use some kind of a sampling technology. For example, in non-antialiasing, we assume that all energy of pixel is concentrated on this one center point. But in sampling, we make some, some sample. For example, here, 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 here. Then, then, okay. Then only one, two, three is not hit. This point is hit, okay, then 25. Because one over four, okay. And in this case, okay, it's a 100%. In this case, unlucky, it's a 0%. In this case, maybe 50%, okay? In this case, 100%. In this case, 50%, okay? It is quite similar to calculating the area. So if we sample Sampling number is four. Then we can sam we can divide into four four sample point. Then you can calculate it with the ratio of uh, the the sample point. Okay. Then we can get very similar effect of uh, anti-aliasing like this. Okay, like this. Okay. That is basic idea of. Uh, Multi sampling. Then there are so many kind of anti aliasing method. Okay, temporal anti aliasing is, for example, motion blur. For example, some 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 object is moving very fast. Sometimes we draw like this. For example, triangle moving triangle so so quickly. Then you can draw like this. So, is we call it motion blur. So we, if we generate motion blur, then sometimes it it, it looks it it eliminates some aliasing effect of uh, some low frequency, low refresh the movie. Okay, and 
to in case of spe spatial anti-aliasing algorithm, there are so many things. The, the, the first thing is a super sampling anti-aliasing. Super sampling is very similar to like this sample multiple sampling, and then to 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 multiple sampling, we generate that some kind of a generate frame buffer with four times bigger frame buffer. For example, four times bigger color buffer, four times bigger depth buffer, four times bigger uh, stanchion buffer, and then calculate it. Then, then we can get some kind of a four times, for example, four, 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 four times the super sampling, then we can calculate that, calculate that the, the four times the bigger frame buffer and then when you display it with on the display device, we reduce it by divide by four into one pixel, then you can get the wonderful result. Okay. But the problem is we need the, the resource of four times bigger than the non anti aliasing hardware. So if you can get a very good result, but it is not, sometimes it, is, it requires very high resource and high, high performance computer. GPU is required to implement the super sampling. So they choose somewhat, somewhat reasonable way. So in, in, in our OpenGLES pipeline, in rendering, last realizations, stage so in we can we can only calculate that in case of a some this edge area edge area is ca calculated by by for example we give the vertex information three vertex information in but in rasterizer so the the line is passing so in this case, oh, I'm I'm sorry. So I will remove it. Okay, so we have the three vertex information. Then we can have the the straight line information. So when you're drawing this this scan line, then we can easily check that oh, this pixel has half and half, or some 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 there is some some aliasing will be will, will be occurred. But oh, this is, this pixel is not occurred because, yeah, sl sl slope and this slope, it, it, this this line does not touch this pixel, so it is one hundred percent, one hundred percent yellow. And then, for example, in this pixel, we don't have to touch it. But in case of in edge edge area, then we calculate the multi we calculate the, the multiple samples. And then we use it as some kind of a, so to mix it, to to blending, is very similar to blending. So we set the calculate coverage, and then it is used for, it is used for decide the fix pixel color. So it is very useful. It's quite useful. But the but the problem is. It is only, only working in the last rasterization uh, module. So, so transparency and some kind of jet uh, depth value, the stencil value, that kind of thing is not multiple. It is only one value. So, the quality is very good. But in case of transparency or some kind of very complex small shape of depth is occurred, then it can make some trouble. There are so many other ways. So fast approximated anti-aliasing is somewhat the mixture of something here, and then it is NVIDIA technology. So morphological anti-aliasing is that they don't make super sampling and they make just the one X sampling and then they, they mixed or blend the image filter with the neighbor pixel. 
So that kind of thing is possible. MLAA is 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 pop is can be used in PlayStation Three. So sometimes TXAA T minus TXAA two is multi sampling two two but two times multi sampling and and texture multi sampling and then some kind of blurring filter is added. So we can get get some anti-aliasing, quite good anti-aliasing result with uh, the very good performance. Okay, there are so many. So the two, we, I, I ask to use, so please remember this two word. The super sampling is making all process with multiple samples, but multi-sampling anti-aliasing, MSAAA, is only working on on rasterization stage. So the resolution of <coughs> fragment fragment shader or something is same same as the the, the pixel sh shape one so x. Okay, they don't make any trouble in 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 fragment shader and they don't affect anything in fragment shader and <coughs> pop fragment operation, okay? Okay, we think that, we can think that, so, so the, the sampling is, can, can be, uh, sampling is occurred with very, the, the regular pattern, but uh, sometimes it, it makes some uh, another trouble because in our world, we use some kind of a vertical stripes or that kind of thing can be, located in here, then it makes some kind of a trouble, okay? It is because, yeah, on and off and on and off is occurred in if that the, the vertical stripe is moving into between the sample point. So sometimes we make it like this. Sometimes we make it randomly distributed pattern of samples or jitter samples. So there are so many ways and so many good point and bad point in this kind of sampling patterns, okay? We can make it the, any kind of uh, sampling patterns. We cannot choose the sampling pattern when you're programming WebGL. It's because the sampling pattern is decided by the GPU vendor. So each GPU vendor has their own special the sampling patterns, so we cannot change that that sampling pattern, but we can turn on and turn off multi sampling. But so we cannot change the pattern of sample, okay? And then, okay. So multi sampling is in occurred in here rasterization. So let's go into more deeply. So the pipeline method of OpenGL Insight book. Then they say that in in multi sampling is occurred in here rasterization. Okay, so so the in any other part of okay rasterization in here the fragment fragment processing and pixel processing and any other part does not have a multi sampling related to multi multi sampling. So it means that. Multi sampling is occurred in here. So in rasterization stage, they choose something about related to multi sampling, then they finish it and sending it into the, the they make fragment and then that with coverage with by multi sampling, then it is sent to fragment processing. So the if the only the this part is affected by multi sampling on and off, but in case of a super sampling, so all other processing, most of the other processing must 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 be done multiple with multiple sample. For example, taps taps testing, stencil testing, that kind of thing must be done with 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 considering the samples. So. It is much more huge. The computation is required to super sampling, but in our case, WebGL, the maybe super sampling is possible in in GPU, but 
in WebGL, normally we use multiple sampling. Okay, and then to to support to 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 enable multi sampling for WebGL, then first thing, the hardware, it means GPU, wants to support the multi sampling or support sampling or anything, and then. The operating system and uh, operating system and windowing system should support the multi sampling. If the OS does not support it, then we cannot use it. And also, web browser, for example, Chrome browser, Internet Explorer, Firefox. If if this, the browser does not support multi sampling, then we cannot use it course so natural and we need to and then we can program it with multi sampling on and off okay okay so how can you turn on and turn off so get context it, it is not command of webgl it is command of uh, html command in in our javascript code with get context with the WebGL, then there is a, some kind of parameters anti-aliasing. I'll show you in in example code. Okay, then we can use the anti-aliasing, or we can turn off anti-aliasing. Okay, so so anti-aliasing turn on and turn off on on drawing something during drawing something is not possible. For example, I draw something in with the anti-aliasing and without anti-aliasing, that kind of mixture is not possible, okay? If you create canvas with get context, we create the GL, then it, it, it is decided to use anti-aliasing or not in that stage, so we cannot change it during the execution of WebGL, okay? There are some, some, uh, some multi-sampling related enable, disable context and parameters. And then, for example, sample coverage. Sample coverage is we can set, we can set, we can set the sampling, the the coverage value. Normally, it is zero to one, but we can set into zero to zero to zero point five or zero point five to one. So we can set by sample coverage value and inverse. Inverse in 1 to 0 0.5. If we set value with 0 0.5, then we, if we set inverse with 2, then 1 to 0 0.5. Then if just just set with the value 0 0.5 with false, then 0 0.5 is used. Then we can get very, the result image will be very, it looks like transparent. Even though we we did not turn on, we did not enable the branding, so we can get some kind of a, some branding effect. The, the transparency effect we can get with the sample coverage value. Okay, So we can turn on this transparent effect by the sample coverage. The, another thing of a sample, the, the enable, disable context parameter is a sample alpha 2 coverage. Sample alpha to coverage is when you are drawing very complex and mixed shaped, then it is very it is not easy to implement it because the because the, the coverage is the one value and then multi sampling is only occurred in 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 rasterization and then next to the drawing it is not possible to get calculate the the pixels the transparency so sometimes it is very hard to design it and in case of very complex shape for example this picture so we we want to draw the very complex the, the bush but there's some pixel is up disappeared because of the, some iPad testing if you need some kind of more more detailed information please go visit this site the, the explain is very cool okay so we can turn on the, the sample iPad to coverage, then we can achieve this kind of rendering. Okay, so, so, 
it, it is possible to meet in in case of very complex drawing with the complex the, the some complex the alpha pattern the, the texture okay so we will learn the texture later okay so the, we can check the the parameter with get get parameter and or easy in, enabled or e, to that function, then we can check that the anti-aliasing is on or off. Okay, so let's go to uh, the, some programming. So I will test the program, the anti-aliasing with with Hello Triangle program. I will first example code. Okay. Okay. To test the anti-aliasing, you should know that some your GPU information, okay? I will turn, my my laptop has, my desktop has the, the G, NVIDIA GPU, I'm sorry, the, the, the all, the written language is Korean, but so I open it, the, the NVIDIA control panel, panel, and then there is some kind of, in 3D setting, so in 3D setting, there is, anti-aliasing mode so there are three kind of choice okay turn off if we turn off the, the anti-aliasing then even though we turn on the in 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 webgl or browser so it does not work so the the the, the gpu setting is turn off anti-aliasing then so we cannot use that function function. So so we 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 I say I choose that the application program control it. Okay, so so application program choose it. And the second thing is you should know that if we turn on the or turn up the the the, the anti aliasing, but sometimes it does not work. I have uh, four displays, and you, you are watching display number four. So it said that so there is a, in Windows 10 there is a, some kind of zooming or text text size of application or something. If you set it into 175 percent or 150 percent or something, then then the automatically resampling is occurred in in by GPU and operating system. So we cannot sometimes you cannot see the 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 non anti aliasing drawing result because automatically zoom in one hundred and fifty percent in that case there is a, some kind of a resampling is occurred. So so naturally the non anti aliasing uh, uh, effect is disappeared. The, no, sorry. Anti-aliasing effect is displayed with zooming. So, so for example, we need we, we, if we want to to learn the non-anti-aliasing mode, then we need to set 100% display, no zooming. Okay. So, and then I set it in, into 100%. Okay. Then. Let's go to code. If you want to test the, the anti-aliasing, so you should check the, your GPU. So my desktop has NVIDIA GPU, so I will turn on turn on the control panel of NVIDIA. So there is some, there is a 3D setting. I'm sorry, it is written in Korean. So I'm sorry. So to, in 3D setting, there is a, we can we can see the result. So. If I set with, there are some kind of choice. The first, first is we can choose the performance. Then you can see some kind of aliasing in here. So if I add some more the quality, then yes, that that aliasing is disappeared. Okay, disappeared. Think about it. If I choose it with performance, then if I, even though when I turn on the the 
the web browser or WebGL programming with anti-aliasing enabled, but it does not work because the the NVIDIA the GPU set to not use anti-aliasing. But if I turn on the anti-aliasing with on GPU, then if I if if I don't if I don't want to use anti-aliasing in WebGL programming, but it, it is not possible to turn off anti-aliasing. So uh, there is some kind of choice that the the application choose anti-aliasing. So we need to choose it. Okay, there are any. If, if, if we, we can choose it, then application automatically or application setting that the the, the, the quality or performance. So, or if you are familiar, I should apply it. Yes, it is applied. And then, okay, there is more settings. So, for example, in in for example, we can sp set the special program our so Chrome web browser. Then, then we can Chrome web browser use Chrome, Chrome web browser use anti-aliasing or something. Okay, so the anti-aliasing mode is the 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 application programming choose it. Okay, so we can globally setting that anti-aliasing mode and anti-aliasing. Uh, settings, for example, there, there is anti-aliasing for transparency, anti-aliasing for gamma collection, FXAA. It is very special uh, technique. So they, we can choose the the the, the so many things. So I said it is uh, anti-aliasing mode is the the controlled by application program. Okay, so so we we can then you can get some anti-aliasing effect by decision of application program okay and then there's another thing to 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 think about it so in setting of display i have four monitors and so you are watching the monitor number four so in monitor number four has zooming it is 175 percent zoomed if I change it to 150, 150, or 200, then the the drawing, all drawings are multiplied, magnified with 150 percent. In that situation, the the pixel is will be pixels are are resampled to display. So. Even though we turn off the anti-aliasing, automatically the resampled occurred. So therefore, the anti-aliasing effect is appeared in screen. Even though we turn off anti-aliasing. So, if you want to test non-anti-aliasing mode, so you should set it into one hundred percent zooming. Okay, and then. Okay, then I will change the code. Okay, okay. So it is. I copied. I copied the Hello Triangle program to WebGL MSAA folder. I will upload it in Git server. Okay. So let's test it with. So there are two ways to see the result. So one thing is that we can zoom in it in web browser. Web browser has zoom in function. So I push the control button and then I fill up. Then it is zooming. So it looks like very smooth. But it it is not good way to checking the anti-aliasing is on or off because when you are zooming in web browser and again there is a the resampling is occurred in in web browser, so sometimes it is not possible to see the the original pixel result of drawing. So we need to use use the magnifier in in system. So I will turn on the the magnifier and then okay lens. 
then I will zoom in in here then you can see that the pixel is zoomed then there is some kind of a middle color is appeared in this area okay so I try to turn off turn off the, the anti aliasing okay in code I will turn off the magnifier and then code okay in the get context function in initialize GL get canvas get context web GL the first parameter is anti alias so anti alias is true so we can ch check that okay false then okay right then let's check it control let's check the, the change so I will turn on the magnifier and then I will reload it can you see that so the, the jagging is appeared in this result please rewind your movie okay and then I will check it again then I will change it into where is it yeah into where is it? Oh, I will turn. Is it possible to turn? Yeah, anti aliasing false. I will change it again. Okay. okay. Change. True. And then write it. And let's see the result. Okay. And then I will reload it. Okay. It became smooth. So, if I turn on and turn off anti-aliasing, then I can get some very smooth, the slanted edgy shape, okay? And then, there is a, some kind of, we already see that some kind of a parameters with using some kind of a, a sample, sample coverage value or something. So, we can use like this, for example, we can enabling the GL GL enabling sample coverage and then well, it is not useful and then GL sample coverage will I will set it into 0 0.5 with the uh, false then then let's see the result then yeah it looks like uh, the yellow triangle is looks dimmer it means that this yellow triangle have 0 0.5 transparency so the sky blue color is appeared in in here so we can use uh, the this the sample coverage value to set the, the transparency value without branding okay so we, so, the, so the sample part of coverage, it, it is not possible to test it with triangles, a simple triangle. In case of very complex shape is complex is rendering with the, the alpha value the texture, then in that case we can use, you can, we can see the result of that effect. Okay, so I think you don't have to turn off anti-aliasing. So you should consider that so the in default anti-aliasing is turned on. So you use it with anti-aliasing always. So so be, be careful about that anti-aliasing makes so much very uh, in in microscopic in pixel view it makes very uh, different result in in drawing. So so you must consider that you must remember that so oh yeah so webgel is always in default they draw something with anti-aliasing but in case of transparency in case of depth buffer in case of uh, some kind of texture sometimes it is not anti-aliased so it can generate very uh, some jaggy patterns of uh, drawing something Okay. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye.